Here I've launched my phone's web browser. I've navigated to golfleaguetracker.com and signed into my league as a player. Since live scoring is turned on, I'm presented with that information, the round which is enabled, the option to enter scores, view the live leaderboard, or go to the league homepage. Um, in this example, I want to enter scores, so I'll tap on enter scores for round one. Now, if your league plays on the front and back sides at the same time, which is called split tee times, you'll choose whether you're entering scores for players on the front nine or the back nine, and a second option will be displayed here. So you'll need to know which side you're scheduled for before entering scores. In this case, I choose enter scores for round one and tap on that. I then choose which players I'm keeping score for. I'll click add player to add a new row. And then I can choose my player's name. So I'll choose myself. And I'm going to keep score for myself and my opponent. I can keep score for up to four players. So I'll click add again. My opponent is Tommy Armour. And now both of us are, are chosen here. If I needed to delete somebody, I can click on remove player and then add more players. Once you have your players chosen, um, you're going to begin scoring. If you play a shotgun start, you'll first choose which hole you're beginning on. But we just play normal tee times in this league. And we're starting on the first hole. And now I'll click on or tap on begin scoring. The score entry screen then shows the current hole. It shows the hole handicap and par for the player and the score. The program defaults to par for the score anytime you navigate to a hole. So when you're finished with the hole, um, you'll click on next hole. If you need to make an adjustment for the score, you'll tap on the plus or minus for that player. So in this example, let's say I made a five on the first hole. I'm going to tap on the plus and that changes my score to five. And of course I can click on plus or minus to adjust as necessary. Um, anytime you click on plus or minus, the scores are updated in the system automatically. They're automatically saved. So once my scoring for the hole is finished, I'll click on next hole. And now hole number two is loaded. And it shows again the hole handicap and the par and the score for each player. Again, the score defaults to the par for the player. And again, I can tap on the plus or minus to adjust the score. So let's say Tommy made a five this time on the second hole. And I'll just continue and do this for each hole. Now, some of the other things you can do here, I can view the live leaderboard. So we'll tap on leaderboard. Now within the leaderboard, you can turn on or off details by sliding the slider over. And when details are on, it shows you hole by hole scores. With details off, it just shows you total. So our total score, gross score, is 9 for each of us. Uh, this is our current handicap and our current net score. You can also view points on or off by sliding that, and it'll show you total points up to that point in the match. Uh, the leaderboard has a sorting feature. You can tap on any of the column headers to sort by that number. So if I wanted to view by net score, I can tap on net. And if I tap it again, it goes from high to low and low to high. I can sort by the name. So besides sorting by one of the columns, you can also favorite a player. And that player's name will appear at the top of the leaderboard anytime you view it. So I can tap on Tammy, Tommy Armour's star. And he automatically appears at the top of the leaderboard. So it's great when you have a bunch of players already entered in here. When I'm done with the leaderboard, I can tap close. Leaderboard is automatically refreshed every five minutes, or I can tap on refresh and it will update immediately. So I'm going to tap on close. And now I'm going to go and enter scores for the rest of the round. I'm going to leave the ninth hole blank to show you how to handle that as league administrator. So I've entered scores up through the eighth hole, and when I'm done, I'm going to tap on end scoring. Or am I sure I want to end? Yes. And I'm taken back to the home page of Golf League Tracker. Now, if that was a mistake, I didn't want to end scoring. I can go up to menu, scorecards. Again, I'm logged in as the player. 
and then you'll see an option for the live score entry which takes you back here where you can begin your scoring again um, or you can view the leaderboard from there we'll go back to scorecards you'll see a link to live leaderboard or you can see the live leaderboard under the stat section and now a live leaderboard link appears at the top so I'm gonna go and finish the live scoring for all the players and then we'll jump back in here as league administrator to show you how to finish up. 